What is going on, everybody? Matitude22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends uh, Lizard Build-A-Figure series, Spider-Woman figure. I, I know, guys, I'm, I'm just getting to the Lizard series now. We're getting hit with so many waves of Legends that I just, I just can't keep up. I can't keep up. So I figured we would uh, kind of get the shittiest figure out of the way, kind of knock that one out, and then after that it's all kind of downhill well downhill in the sense of it gets better so anyway looking at the packaging we got spider-man spider-woman right there okay shot of her on the side pretty much same shot on the other side spider-man logo on top standard legends packaging guys you, you know how it is a whole bunch of writing down here there's a barcode on the back we get a nice picture of the figure with a brief little bio so if you want to read that, go ahead and pause this video now. And you can read that in multiple languages. So there's our lizard build a figure completed. Other figures in the wave. More writing and, and stuff like that. So oh, she fell over. See? She, she can't even stand during the packaging part of the video. Anyway. Alright, so that is pretty much the packaging. Let's go ahead and look look at the figure. All right, so looking at Spider Spider Woman here, it's not really a whole lot to this figure. I mean, I will touch on the face sculpt. I, I do like the face sculpt. I think they did a pretty good job, and the nice translucent orange for the glasses, so you can kind of see her eyes clearly. Sculpt on the hair, not too bad. Uh, other, other than that, again, this figure is just a very much a head a head on a body figure. There's a little bit of texturing in the logo. As you can see, you got all the lines. They didn't paint it the best. Right there, black smudge on the yellow. Like, right as, as soon as you look at this figure, you see it. So, not the best. The rest of the paint seems to be okay. Uh, all the paint on All the paint on her back. They didn't seem to mess that up too much. Belt. It's just painted on. No sculpting whatsoever. No sculpting in the boots. Again, boots are just painted on. Paint, not too bad right there. And then she's got the gloves. The little open hand. And you can see kind of the dab of red on the gloves. So, that looks, that looks alright, I suppose. Uh, articulation. Head moves side to side. Moves pretty good forward and back. It is on a ball peg on a neck disc. So you do get a pretty good range of motion. And shoulder moves up to here. Rotates rotate it all the way around. Moves in this far, out this far. She has a, not quite a bicep swivel, but more like an elbow swivel. And then single jointed elbow. We're, we're still kind of, we're still kind of on these single jointed elbows. So, uh wrist rotation and wrist hinge pretty good range of motion on that she's got a diaphragm joint and that feels a little bit stiff uh so typically diaphragm joint you can move it in any direction but it just it just feels a little stiff i don't know but you can rotate it you can do what you gotta do hips move out this far she kicks this far forward kicks that far back double jointed knee which you do get a pretty good range of motion on the knee so I will give the figure that. I, I will give credit where credit is due. No thigh swivel or boot swivel or anything. And the ankles do hinge forward and back. And they rock side to side. Uh, doesn't come with any accessories. I, I feel like she maybe might have come with alternate hands. I, I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure she didn't. She didn't want to stand. Obviously, she comes with a lizard uh, built a figure piece. We'll, we'll we'll look at that later when we look at that figure. Other than that, not too much to say about this figure. Uh, I don't, I won't really recommend it if you're just kind of cherry picking in this line. But obviously, if you're trying to build your lizard, then you probably want to pick up this figure. But other than that, other than that, it's really really nothing special. Uh, like I said, the easily the worst figure in the wave. That's why I kind of picked this one to start off with. Kind of get the, the junkiest one out of the wave, and then it's all smooth sailing from here. But 
that is going to bring this review to a close, guys. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I will catch you next time with another figure review. And bye. Hey, guys. Matty222 here. I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching. And thank you for all your support, guys. This channel grows bigger every day. And it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate it. I just want to say, if you like this channel, if you like what you see, make sure you let, show me some love, guys, and hit that subscribe button, because I'm bringing you new videos pretty much every day, and that's the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Also, like like the videos, share them with your friends, leave me a comment, make sure you tell me uh, what you like about the video, tell me what you like about the figure, just let me know all that stuff, guys, and check out all my social media links. I put them in the description of every video, so if you want to follow me on social media, you can definitely do that. And guys, head over to Facebook and check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. Make sure you come say hey to us there. And make sure you join us every Friday night for the Spaghetti and Friends podcast. And guys, check out all those other channels that are affiliated with that page. And that's going to be it, guys. I hope you like the video. Thank you again. Stay beautiful.